So I don't really have a plan for like where I'm gonna be in a year. Thank you guys so much for hitting subscribe. Um, I have like a rough direction I'm aiming, but like you guys uh, have blown me away so much. I don't really have a plan and I wanted to talk about what I'm watching for 2021 uh, and see if maybe I'm missing some down below. Please let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about like what games I'm excited about. I mostly talk about Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft over here. That's the two games I have by far the most hours in and the most experience with. But over the years, I've touched a number of other games. I played Guild Wars 1, I played Destiny 1, and I, I currently play Destiny 2 uh, at an incredibly casual level. I jumped into Beyond Light pretty hard the first couple weeks. And then um, since then, it's just, it's been like, well, if I if I have time, I'd, I'd love to play more. Um, I've, I've tried Warframe. I played EVE Online for a while. Um, I played ESO on launch, my understanding from everything I, I watch, I have all these questions and it's like either my memory's gone insane or it's changed drastically. And they're like, well, both are the answer. Uh, both it's changed. And I, I watch a lot of, um, Guild Wars two streams, even though I like, I really just have a Guild Wars one background and like nine times out of 10, I'm like, okay, I'm getting the hang of it. And then they turn the corner. I'm like, I don't know what any of that is. Uh, but it's, it's delightful to watch. Uh, and so like. I wanted to talk a little bit about like some of the bigger games coming out this year um, being like that I, I don't know what I want to play. Um, I have some rough ideas, but like I just wanted to kind of like throw out there like Ashes of Creation. I don't know if that's going to come out this year. It appears to be the like game of all games and like everything they've shown us looks amazing. So honestly, if anything, like I get super nervous about like cyberpunk having like so many bugs on launch and I get super nervous about um, gosh, what was the space game that I had to turn all the way around after just getting way overhyped. And so like, I get super nervous when a game gets that much press, uh, that it won't be there. Um, and, and that we'll get, you know, a hundred hours in, in the first week because we all play too many games or whatever, you know, your, your life allows, or the, some content creator will get a hundred hours in and then they'll tell us, you know, after a hundred hours, you just kind of fall off a cliff. So I just get super nervous that it won't all be there. Um, Blue Protocol and PSO2 are two games that, uh, I know Brian's been paying a ton of attention to. And so like, I'm interested. I just am not like totally aware of where those have been and where they came from. And like, I have just enough awareness to go, okay, let me know when it's out and like, I'll take a look. Um, and then like you start to look over at, oh, there's, I mean, there's Crimson Desert and Crowfall and Elyon and, and Lost Ark and the, uh, uh, I don't know. There's a, there's a bunch. Uh, and then we start to get to the ones that like, I really don't know how they do well. Um, like I, I have no idea how new world rocks the boat this year. Like I have no idea how Amazon does it. I wish them the best. I do. I would love to see another big, well-funded player come in and, and rock the space. Um, I think sometimes, um, ESO and Guild Wars and Final Fantasy 14 and WoW kind of hold such a stranglehold over the non, um, over the, over the, like, I guess really well-funded, uh, not free to play market that like anything that can rock that. Um, I don't really know how Amazon's going to monetize it. Like they can say whatever they want to say, but like the one thing that I do know about Amazon is that they will adjust until they make money. So whatever it needs to be, they're going to get there. Um, and they're very good at making money and they're very good at optimizing platforms and optimizing product lines to get there. And so I have no doubt that, everything they've done with Twitch, everything they've done with Amazon, everything they've done with the Amazon Prime Video, um, that, that any lessons they've learned from that will get applied to New World. Um, and for some that will feel bad, but for many, like they're optimizing for the lowest common denominator. So if there's something that really is uh, objectively something we don't want, um, there might be a good chance that Amazon does a good job listening, not out of some altruism, but because they're really good at making money and they don't want people to complain and then quit. So like, there's a reason that for all the people in the world that may complain about Amazon, that Amazon prime is a thing that so much of the world has, like they're good at making it what it needs to be. Uh, and so I would love to see them get into the game space just because like we have so many big players in the space. And like one of the things that scares me is one big player gets too much room. And so like just getting them in, I would like Apple to back some studios in, in a more traditional game space, less mobile market. Um, Google, I'm interested to see what Stadia brings to market. Like the only answer to big players is 
other big players. Um, that's that's just sadly often the case. I, I, I'm all down for it not to be. That just is. Um, Guild Wars 2 and ESO, I believe, both get stuff this year. Guild Wars 2, I think their next thing is Chapter 3 in like the spring. I don't really know how a content cycle for that works. So I'm, I'm interested. I just... Like, I literally don't know enough to talk on why Guild Wars 2 should be paid attention to this year, other than that other people like it, so I should probably like it, I think. Uh, ESO is getting um, Oblivion Gate. Uh, it's I almost got in during Somerset. Um, I almost came back. Like, I heard it's been drastically different. I, I think that that's a game that I've followed off and on for quite a while, and I really enjoyed. I love that it's so cross-platform, and, like, I... I, I loved Elder Scrolls games. Um, I'm interested to see what it means in the context of like Bethesda and Xbox's relationship. Uh, so I'm interested to follow that just from like a gaming industry perspective. And I don't really know what it means from there. Uh, and then World of Warcraft, I, I imagine that Classic will go into Burning Crusade this year. I bet they announced that at BlizzCon. Would not shock me if on the floor they're ready to announce. And this is before we even talk about action RPGs. This is before we talk about Path of Exile, uh, Wilson, and uh, Diablo type games. This is before we talk about anything adjacent like Temtem um, and everything that they're doing, which is super interesting in the space. This is literally like traditional MMORPGs. Um, there is a lot to follow this year. And uh, and obviously, like, I'm not even mentioning Final Fantasy XIV getting an expansion because I don't think there's any doubt that anybody watching this video thinks I'm going to do anything but play the crap out of that. Like, come on. Uh, so, I, I mean, I didn't mention it, but if anybody watching this video is not familiar with gaming, kind of, like, Final Fantasy and WoW being the two big games I follow... There's one expansion for one of them every year, and I'm and it's typically in the, the fall, the loose terms, fall-ish. Uh, and um, so sometime in the fall, whenever that is, I'll be playing Final Fantasy XIV's 6.0, which we'll get a name for here on February 5th. Um, so a little under a month from now, we'll get the name, we'll get the trailer, we'll start to get well, those, those initial kind of leaks, intentional leaks of information as the hype train begins. Um, so... I just wanted to kind of talk about like what I'm following this year. I don't know where things fit, but as um, as I continue to try to make more and more content, and the goal is to make you know more and more content, and then ideally uh, also get better and better content. Um, I have some big projects on the horizon, but like also some of it is like as I talk about these games, I see in the comment section you guys go, "Well, you reference these two games off each other, but what about these?" And I can go try to read up on those and watch more streams and watch more videos, but ultimately I should probably just be playing some of those. Like if I want to be in the habit of openly and and publicly and ideally with some feedback, having an, a conversation about like what these games have in common, more would be better. Um, and each of these games is a giant undertaking in its own, so I don't really know which one to bite off uh, first, if I was ever going to get to them all, I think the problem is you'll never get to them all because there's more every year. But like, even if I just want to, you know, miss less of them, even if I just want to be more aware, this is only, I'm only talking paid ones. We're not talking, uh, Warframe, BDO, like there's a ton of successful free to play. I'm not talking adjacent things, action RPGs, um, as you start to go more into the space like Destiny, you have to wonder if Halo Infinite will have a component like that. Um, you have to wonder if Anthem will make another resurgence. Um, you have to wonder if Outriders is going to push towards the MMO space um, with a multiplayer component after the fact. Like, like I don't... It's not intended to be that now, but would it be? Um, so, like, the space is ever-growing and the border of it is super fuzzy. Um, but even in games that we say, okay, 80% of this game... Um, can be directly overlaid Final Fantasy and, and WoW, and it's either at Final Fantasy, at WoW, or somewhere in between, uh, or, it's, or it's immediately adjacent to one of them. And then the other 20% is unique to that game. The other 20% is what they do. It's, it's their you know, hidden strength. It's what gives them a community and a, and a reason for playing. And it's their, it's their unfair advantage um, over the other two in their own unique portion of the content that makes up an MMORPG. Like, even, if just, even if you limit yourself only the games that already are like 80% more of the same and it's going to feel familiar but different right from the get-go, it's still a big list. It's still a lot of games. Um, and so I wanted to just kind of put that out because I was starting to have that conversation on stream uh, on Friday. And um, 
and I just wanted to kind of have that here because I would love to see down in the comments below like what games you guys are looking forward to this year uh, what games did I miss what games am I just glossing over too quickly and it's like oh no 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 that is not a game you mention that is a game you play that is a game you play right now um, are there any that like I I am actively you know I said yesterday like there's no bad time to get into games but like are there any of these that it's like you're missing it man this is it you're already it's already passing you by you gotta go you gotta go right now um and so like i would love y'all's feedback um i've i've got a lot of plans for the channel and everything like that and and hopefully that's really apparent um you guys on stream were asking um asking for some things and uh and I definitely, some of them lined up with stuff that it's like, well, I've been kind of thinking about that. So um, I'm definitely taking all feedback and uh, and trying to grow um, into what it is that you guys and, and what I want. Um, I, I don't I don't know exactly what that is. And, and um, there's a number of you. So like, I don't know exactly what you guys want, but like, I think it's just a continued iterative process each and every week. Uh, tomorrow I'll have my weekly post and the weekly post will of course um, remind you that FS Asher will be with me on Tuesday uh, and Xander will be with me again on Thursday. Um, and then I'll be live overall from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time that whole time. Um, at some point I'll stop mentioning stream so much, but like right now I still feel like, you know what, this might be somebody's first time in here. This might be somebody's very first video of mine. And I just want to let them know that I'm live over on Twitch on work to game link is down in the description below. Uh, as I build out what I, I assume I should have a bigger description se uh, section and I'm just slowly going to add to it over time. Uh, I think that's it. I think, um, Thank you guys. Let me know what games I should be playing because I don't just want to talk about Final Fantasy and talk about, wow, I, I want to talk about gaming. So just gaming. Um, I'll try to keep it MMORPGs um, on this, uh, you know, because I think that's what YouTube wants one channel to be one thing. And I think that's one thing this channel can be and, and something I'm really passionate about. Um, but even within that space, there's a lot that falls under it or at least close enough to be covered under the word kinda.